thank God I bought these with me. First time I've ever been in there. I want to thank the director to give me two free tickets. Me and the cameraman went in there and uh, I left my ADHD aside and I just took every painting, sculpture, everything in. A lot of story about uh, Lord Beaverbrook. A lot of paintings of Lord Beaverbrook. Uh, it was interesting. And um, found out now I understand how come the battle was between the family of Lord Beaverbrook and the art gallery that wanted to keep these paintings here in this in this city. And there's a lot of uh, art paintings. Fourteen. 1500. Maybe they're going on another street. They're Must be French. Loud, but that's okay. Uh, 1700, 1800. And there's even an ivory sculpture, little sculpture of Jesus with angel and the apostle, the, the, les apôtres, uh, 1300. 700 years old. Right there, security, very tight. They were following me. I thought, me being the blogger, paranoid, I thought they were just watching over me. Orders from Dan B.C. out across the, the street. I had to mention his name. But anyway, 700 years, years old. There's a lot of stuff in there. But there's a lot of furniture. And there's a lot of different items that nobody is there to explain to us what's going on. I would suggest if the art gallery wins some money, somebody should have a little iPod or a little gadget that you could Google the author's name, the painting's name, then it'll give you more information. I seen the painting and I seen the, the silks or whatever you call it. And it was good, but I don't really know the history behind it. The security was pretty good. They, they explained to us a few things. But you know what? Bottom line, I would suggest anyone to take the time and go at the Beaverbrook Art Gallery and you will really enjoy it.